The new cache can be installed on a Windows or Mac computer, desktop or laptop. GNU Cache is available for older operating systems such as Windows 7, Vista, XP, and earlier Mac operating systems. To download the latest stable release of GNU Cache, go to gnucache.org. On the GNU Cache welcome page, you are given the option to download the latest version of the software based on your computer operating system. Click on the link which best describes your operating system. Once you click on an option, you will be directed to a download page. On the download installation page, the message your download will start shortly will appear. And with some browsers, you will see the download in progress on the bottom of the screen. Once the download is complete, you will find the GNU Cache executable file under your Windows download folder. Double click on the GNU Cache setup icon to launch the program. Windows security might pop up with a message the publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? Or do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Click run or yes to continue. On the first screen, you see the language selection dialog box with English already selected by default. If you need a different language, click on the drop down arrow and select it. Next, click OK to continue. The next page is the license agreement. When you are finished reading it, which is a good idea to read it, then click on the next to proceed to the next screen. The next screen will show the full installation that will be installed on your computer and below it specifies how much free space and megabytes is required on your hard disk to install the program. When you are satisfied that your computer can handle the installation, click on next. The next screen will give you an option of having the program create a desktop icon and a start menu link for you. It is better to leave this option checked to allow the software to create the icon and link. It will save you time searching for the program to start it since the program will install a shortcut on the desktop. Click next to continue. The next screen is simply a recap of all the selections made by you so far. Click install to start the installation. This may take several minutes. Follow the instructions to complete the setup.